Hello, my name is Alexander Romenkov and today is day six, week four of ruling reality basics where we are going to deep dive into your authentic self. We are going to deep dive of the actual ruler of your own reality and this is the I am. You are going to realize who you actually are. The ruler. I am. You are. So we are beingness, isness, limitlessness inside of us. And also we are everything as a potential and we are always connected with all and always connected with source within us. It is important to understand the reason why the I need to understand its easiness and its beingness and to separate itself from the doingness, from the thoughts and from all the expressions of self. I know it's very interesting to dwell in the expressions of self because only then through reality we actually understand who we are and we are interacting with ourselves. But actually the most important thing in life is to know the I am-ness of you. And the problem is that nobody has ever seen you, nobody has ever seen me, nobody has ever seen the creator of everything because all the things we can grasp through the five senses is only the expressions you are actually seeing in your reality and people are seeing into your reality only small part of the expressions of the self and actually through reality we know and understand more about us when you look into other people you don't see them you don't see their I amness you see only the expression of who they are then another problem occurs and this is the problem about connected with all i'm going to show you now something that you anyhow are going to have in the slides and you can look in the slides and also go further into the knowledge of the authenticity but actually, the most important thing is to know your ultimate positioning as beingness, isness, limitlessness, and to be okay to be disconnected with everything that you are expressing. This is your ultimate positioning. And then to know deep inside you where actually all feelings are coming from to know that you are always connected with all and with source. And even if you would like to, you can never be disconnected from reality, from your body, from your mind, from your thoughts, from your feelings, because you are created in such a way that non-stop are generating reality. Your inner reality, your outer reality, everything is non-stop generated from the source, the I amness, the beingness, the limitlessness. Then when you learn that you cannot be disconnected in the expressions of the self, which we call the daily reality, and your actual reality, there you are feeling totally and seeing totally the opposite situation. There you see the limitations, the duality, part of the expressing of the self, 
the inability to express everything and so on and so on even the past future and nowness of the self because there is no past future and now you are always being you are always are and you will always be the same i amness so you actually inside of you you are never changing you are never perfecting because you already are everything you already are are connected with all you don't need to become something more you already are quite enough so then the problem is that when we look into the conception of now future and past even in the nowness we see percentage of your future self already expressing and also you need to learn how to work with these three principles of nowness futurenesses and pastness of the self because in the i amness there is no future past and now so actually when you experience internal change actually through the feedback of reality you are willingly becoming able to actually allow yourself to express more of who you already are so then what is happening into reality is that you are creating an inside out flow of authenticity you are 100 authentic inside 100 limitless inside and you are able daily in your reality to express percentage of who you already are and then the reality is giving you the limitation feedback through which you look around you understand more about you well you gather more awareness you gather more confidence you become more conscious of your i amness and actually you are willing to create internal change in order to shift more the outer reality and to express more of who you are and this is something we call improvement so there is a purpose why we are experiencing limitation and duality and instead of trying to disintegrate from reality better start learn to actually love the feedbacks love your imperfections love your failures love everything that appears daily in your reality because it is perfect as it is and it is 100% okay and it is just expression of percentage of who you are only then you can stop self judging yourself you can understand and go into the source and be there and the only thing that is uh, very powerful then is the identity you need to identify with who you are not with who you are not because actually we think the opposite we think that what we experience in the daily reality this is who we are but this is just the expression of ourselves so don't identify with your successes don't identify with your failures you are not the expression of self it is just a percentage of who you are so instead of identifying and trying to put labels of yourself as a successful businesswoman business person as a very great coach as a very deep spiritual person as a very improved being better than everybody else Le well let me tell you a big obviousness there is nobody which can compare it as a more i am than whoever else is on the planet we are all i amness as perfect as great as we can be so instead of trying to label yourself with positive labels or label yourself with negative labels go and dwell and identify with who you actually are and as an i am 
identify with the limitlessness, identify with your potential now and identify with this that you are constantly aligned with source because when you go into the expressions of reality you can see the failures are only periods of non-alignment and successes are periods when you are aligned but anyhow you feel there the processes but processes and dynamics of the self-expression is not actually who you are so it is very important to understand and to use the power of identification in order to become more of who you are and long term the slides that i you can enjoy um, in the program are going to be much with much more clarification but because i want to show you also my imperfectness and to see that nobody knows everything even when you are in the i amness you don't need to know you are okay with not knowing because knowledge is always in the limitation you can always know partially but when you dwell with and in the sort of i amness you even don't need to know a fish do doesn't need to grasp the ocean in order to go as deep as she wants and to go as far away as she wants in the ocean. She only uses and enjoys it. So it should be the same with us. We don't need to know even more. Now we are only clarifying and enjoying ourselves into going of the deepness of the authenticity of self and the I am amness. So it is very important. I will try to mm, give you a little uh, brief um, showing of my drawings and you can see it. So being is to stay and to be present because the per per primary idea of you on this earth and of me on this earth is to be in the beingness in the wholeness in the oneness and then daily we are going into the doingness but the doingness is the partial thing the doingness is the percentage of the expression of who you are that's why don't be worried that you will never be perfect. Now, I'm not worried even if I created some mistakes, even if I'm not grasping fully all the knowledge, because it doesn't matter. The only thing that matters is you to know the basic principle of the I amness. Everything else is then revealing before you and you are enjoying. So, I'm not a perfect being in my expressions, in my doingness, but because I am whole and oneness, in my easiness, in my limitlessness. That's why my expressions are constantly improving and becoming more and more as who am I inside of myself, as authentic as I am and can be. So then it's very easy to become honest with yourself and see everything that is in your reality. I am daring to express more, stay longer aligned and connected. This is part of your I amness identity. I dare to be under the will of the creator and to be under the natural walls of everything to be part of the allness and to have my place there to be 100 percent beneficial through my expressions and to generate flows from within this is the part of the i amness this is how the i amness is positioned 
to start expressing from the inside out the doingness. And then the beautiful thing is that actually you are broadcasting not to reality, but you are broadcasting from the position of the amness, of the insness into reality. Then you can understand what is the meaning of broadcasting from. It helps you also in all the other subjects. Then when we go into reality and we go in the feedback that we receive from reality, then you can see what I'm shown as, what parts of myself I have expressed. And you are actually, and I'm actually also expressing percentage of my last, of my wants, of some things that I want to be beneficial only for me. Also percenting of inf a percentage of the possibility to impact and percentage of the manifestations that are able to align with reality in order to be revealed. And actually daily we are experiencing only partial thing of what is allowed to be expressed from our authentic beingness into reality because the problem and the great beautiful construct of reality only allows reality to give you a feedback of who you are in the moment and the ability to which you have come into expressing of yourself. When you were a child, you didn't express a lot of yourself. Now, when you are adult, you are expressing, you can become deeper in yourself, you can express more, more deep things into reality, more impactful things into reality, more beneficial things for others. When you were a child, you wanted only to eat, to be fed, to experience the love and so on. Now, when you are adult and go into maturation, you want to give away everything that you have ever wanted. You want to be surrounded with more beauty. You want to see in reality much more great and things that are beneficial for all. You are not anymore interested to show up to be significant, you to be the important one, more and more you want to see everything around you supported because based on the trust that we learned about, you know now that you are always anyhow supported from reality. So then we need to learn your authenticity and your outer world lagging experience. It is very important, especially when you go into the idea about shifting reality. It is a normal process, so it is okay to be like this. And your authenticity and your outer world lagging experience you can see it down there. There is that you always are 100% your future self inside of you because you are always your past, your nowness and your future potential in this very moment. And then if you decide to express and to become and to be something more, in reality, then you immediately first you have tapped inside of you into your 100% future self that you already are. And then your future self is expressed little by little into the outside reality. And this part is called lagging ex the experience because immediately in your mind, you absorb, you are aligned, and you feel 
the future that wants to experience in your reality because you already allow yourself to be more of the amness and then you have created this disbalance and then your future self is more and more becoming part of the reality and actually gradually it is revealed till the moment almost 100% of what you have decided in the now is revealed and it's okay and it is part of your future reality and this lagging experience i know that all of us want to have this as short as possible but reality is that actually the journey to reveal it is where we are learning more about ourselves where we are answering a lot of questions what is the reason why i'm expressing more of this part of me and you are going through the suffering where you can experience that it's still not there but you are actually going deeper and deeper inside of you and you understand more and more why everything why the allness needs what has been born inside of you as a desire to be revealed in the outer reality and why it is going to be long term beneficial for all so then we are gathering this self-awareness and we are actually learning to work with these two sides the who i amness and the inner part of our identification with the self and the inner part of our honesty of how to deal with all the dynamics that are happening within us and then to learn also to be okay to work with the other side of reality which is the physical matter reality where it is okay to know to dwell on to understand all the imperfections of reality and this light is also going to become uh, much better long term um, just to see which slide yeah so this is the slide i was willing to share with you when you dwell more and more into the understanding of the who i amnest and which are the states in which you are expressing yourself then you actually are becoming more and more self-aware because now you are working with the outer reality you are gathering awareness you understand more about you and you actually become very glad to go into observation of the inner world observation of the outer reality observation of the dynamics and the interaction because you know now everything that is happening in your reality is actually that you are learning and understanding more about of who you are who is your creator how everything is created why reality is working as it is and you are enjoying and going deeper more and more into life interaction and you start enjoying every second of what is revealed before you and you stop distinguish between nice beautiful deep spiritual normal ordinary negative positive you enjoy everything as it is accept everything that is coming into your daily reality and you enjoy only being the observer of everything because in your i amness you already are of course it is not going to create out of you a being that is non-active and non-interactive and non-impacting and non-influential with reality because more and more you are going together also care the reason why you are doing everything you are doing the reason why you want to express more of the limitless being that you are in the limitation 
of reality. The reason why you want to be more impactful, the reason why you want to touch more, the reason why you want to be more beneficial. And this source from where everything starts is going to be willing to express, to engage, to interact more and more. So as authentic as awareness is gathered, this is how you experience how much as a percentage of your actual awareness you are able to gather. Then you are expressing the beingness, the isness, the limitlessness through doingness, through fruitfulness, through rulingness, through subduing. And long term, you are also discovering more and more processes and you are going into this circle and then you start even enjoying more of you to be expressed, less to be withheld, only for you. I will never express myself. I want to be closed. I don't want anybody to be impacted of who I am. But when you understand who you are, what is the source inside of you, you want to shine, you want to share, you want to interact with life, then your doingness will have a meaning. You don't need to make perfect doingness. You only need to make it as authentic as you are in the moment and then the failures, the successes, aha, here I was well aligned, I succeeded. Here I was not well aligned, I failed, but I learned a lot through this failure. I gathered more awareness about this process, for example, and you can go deep and deep and more and more into interaction. Then consciousness and unconsciousness and intuition, you are going to understand more and more about this. So, state of being, 100% authentic, limitless, we spoke about this, and your state of expression, and that's why you are okay with being vulnerable, with being meek, with not being imperfect in the outer limitations of reality, because now you understand how the cycle is working, and then you need to understand how to work with the consciousness, unconsciousness, intuition, consciousness, is when you consciously during the day are programming what of yourself you long term want to be expressed and consciousnesses are the automations that are already built into your expressions and generations but because of the feedback you receive from the limitations of reality through the conscious programming you are influencing long-term reality and now you understand why you need to long-term generate more of who you are and to be able to subdue and to understand more of the processes and then it becomes part of more and more of your unconscious part and then the intuition it is closed and it is part of your alignment processes through intuition you are tapping into the source and then you understand why and how though you are seeing the fit to go into the intuition and never ignoring the reality fit but able to be disconnected to go into the source to be aligned to draw intuition and to create lasting change through the inner of your being. So honesty you need through the observation of yourself and reality because you are a generator but also an observer of everything that you are creating. So the source is very important. There in your inner being you are creating constant change by expressing more of who I am. Expression of more I amness is actually the constant inner change that you are willing to express in the outside. And you need to be honest with yourself when you feel stuck to ask yourself, to ask questions, to be open, to use all the feelings, 
to know when to be furious, to know when to be calm, to be peaceful, to be regretful, to use all the power of the feelings in order to be more connected with the expression of what you already are and to feel more and more alignment and connection with the outer reality, but true creation of flow, not to, through going into regret long-term, not into going of the, in the self-judgment, into creating very big uh, um, targets for yourself, but to be okay with small achievements, to see gradually how things are appearing before you, and then you understand fears, attachments, insecurities, non uh, not, not trusting what I'm hiding from. You are going to be sincere about what you need to let go, what you need to surrender. Then you start really using the feedback of reality. So this is this part of the observation and the honesty. Now, when we go even deep dive and see what is happening in our inner world as dynamics, there are everything how we are becoming authentic from within. So we have our thoughts, our emotions, our will, everything that is happening inside of us, it's also into, into dynamics. But you know now how to disidentify from your thoughts, from your emotions and from your willingness also because in your source, in your positioning, in your I'mness, isness, beingness, limitlessness, you don't need to be. You are there. So when your thoughts are now coming, you are also observer there. Wow, why this thought is coming? why it is expressing some worries and limitation about the outer feedback. Let me look at it. But now you are looking at it from the perspectiveness of the beingness and the isness and the spaceness and the intelligenceness and the alignment and the source and connectedness. And then it's easy to observe thoughts, to know that you are not the thoughts, but they are parts of the perception feedback of the reality limitation and this is part of the penetration and they, you need them of course you have created concepts you have created understanding you use your mind but as a tool for long term moving again into reality and being able to create this flow of authentic expressions and now you are learning to observe the thoughts, to know how to select, to divide, to have discernment, to know when to stop, to know how to contextualize, to know how to conceptualize these thoughts. And you have put now thoughts under order. It is beautiful. I'm never afraid of my thoughts. Whatever thoughts come to me, I'm not a maniac of ignoring my thoughts. I use them. I enjoy them as much as I'm enjoying the outer reality. Wow, well, why this thought is now coming to me? Let me check. Aha, such an interesting way. Okay, I'll leave it for later. Now I, I'm not, I cannot be bothered. I'm in the easiness. And this I'm doing in the morning routines. I'm doing in the afternoon routines. Sometimes I'm okay to dwell on a thought for hours, to go into imagination. Well, let's see what beautiful thing can happen there. I'm not afraid to go deep. I'm not afraid to see the potentials because you need and I need to see in order to generate and create a real want that is actually creating the driving force to go and tap into the source of the awareness and easiness and to be connected and to be willing to be aligned and to daily live in alignment into the outer reality. So this part of you 
don't neglect, observe it from the highness perspective. Then you are going to feel the authentic power of the highness. Then are also the emotions. I know a lot of people are just willing to have positive emotions because they think that feelings and the law of attraction is working if you only feel and they, because they want only beautiful, positive things to experience in life, they are willing to dwell only on the positive part of the emotions, which are creating the feelings as the expression through the body. But I personally, as we thought, I want long term and I am creating for myself space where fear is not ignoring, I am accepting and allowing all the emotions. There also you become the observer. Inner looking, you are sincere, you are allowing all emotions, you are honest, you can outer look, you let the emotions do their job, but from the rightful positioning of never identifying yourself with the experience of the emotion. You and I am not our emotions. I know a lot of us, because of this love movement, unconditional love movement, we want to be emotional, to be feeling, but love under will is more than just the feelings. It needs to be expressed and only the authentic expression of love, love manifested is what matters. The care, the principle, the generating principle that makes your being to become a generator of inside out flows is where actually love is dwelling into dynamics and emotions are only useful tools. Then we go into the wheel section. In the wheel section, it's also very important to, to work with all your imperfection, to never be afraid that you have your last. There are things that your ego is willing, but you need then to work with trust. Instead of lasting and willing to have and trying to have trust, that your desires are going to be met and you focus yourself on the circle of the highness expression of yourself to be a giveable and beneficial expressing of the beingness in the outer reality. And then let by trusting everything that you have been desiring it is going to be met, but not by you. You are not in the last. Of course, we are always in percentage of this. We can never be 100% perfect, but never ignore everything that is happening in the willpower and in motivation and commitment and failures and work with this. It is also important and powerful tools of the self. Be honest. Okay, I'm willing to give up. Why I'm giving up? What is long-term passionate about me? How to stay into passion? How to be in the flow? Always go to the source. Always go to the creation of the flows. Whenever you come into this willingness environment and realness, then you are anyhow expressing and generating from within bigger flows, but also through honesty, you know how to be grounded, grounded. And all this so-called shadow work, when you understand and are okay also with your shadow parts of you, because you are not expressing daily 100% of your inner being. So this feedback just shows you there is a lot more work 
you need to let go of some identifications you need to go deep dive into the source so it is okay it is normal to be a normal human being the only thing in order to be a ruler is to understand how the being works and what is the positioning from where everything starts so then you will be okay to have the honest feedback from reality and to not go into delusion ignoring reality and to be afraid of measuring the effects of what you are generating to be afraid of noticed and to be willing to attract only positive because what is our definition as human being of positive positive things that are beneficial for ourselves this is part of the last beneficial for me of course accepting and allowing only specifics and ignoring the other parts can also close your mind close your inner being into staying in delusions no i will stay only in this balloon this is where i feel comfort this is where i feel it alex i don't want to go in other areas where i feel disturbance no no i want to dwell only here but if you are willing to long term challenge yourself to be in different groups to be with high conscious people to be with low conscious people to go on the other side to speak with people that express for example things that we think are evil to be able to even love your enemy to be eager to speak with people from different religions different expressions of self it is helping you more and more to be grounded and to be away from delusion because in order to escape delusion you need to always be open to walk into this interaction between the inner and the outer reality and to know that you are always aligned and to be observing also the authentic reality and that is why in the authentic outside reality you are learning to accept all as it is that it is perfectly expressed as it is to only observe and marvel what is reveals to embrace all the negatives as what i need and also to attract whatever this is the real world of attraction when you are expressing yourself when you are generating in reality you are open for everything you don't need to be selective of course when you are influencing and shifting reality you can see little by little the expression of yourself revealing but you are lowering the importance and actually you are now not feeling and seeing that you are some kind of a ruler no you are an influencer who is only honored through reality some of his expressions to be revealed for a benefit for all now it is much more different then you it's very easy to work with all the triggers you see here the triggers are good thing because they're creating inner change what i need to change in order to express more of who i am when you see a trigger immediately go into this thought wow why i was uh, mad at this guy why this trigger appears well there is more inner change going there to be and you start enjoying even the triggers and then you go into your authentic source into your limitlessness what i authentically and uniquely want this is the other part of the triggers where when you see that in your insight you want things 
that are last something that you want for yourself primarily then inner work is still starting you learn oh i see now i see this ah why is the value where is the benefit for allness i'm never alone i don't want to create in reality more separateness more duality i want to create more connectness more alignment more me and all to be aligned no no the last is going to say only for me what is possible alex only for me so these are the triggers there from the outer reality and from the inner inside perception and interaction so in the outer reality feedback you are receiving the percentage of last you understand percentage of my loss because you are never perfect there is always some percentage of the was that you are expression, expressing there is also percentage of the influence and manifestation of yourself that is allowed not 100% of everything that you will ever want will be able to be expressed but however whatever percentage is expressed you are happy and joyful and thankful because it is allowed so you are always expressing percentage of your fullness of your futureness of your limitlessness but anyhow through the honest observation of reality and seeing what things can be improved you go to the source you align more with the i amness the isness and then the new flow a better flow an improvement is created this is the real process so in order to conclude this session and this is a very on the surface we can deep dive in many of these things and go strong into different directions and for me this is the beauty about every subject that we can deep dive all of our lives into any subject and it will never be enough enjoy that you are not knowing everything enjoy all life to be revealed before you so authenticity and the outer world lagging experience is also something you need to understand because inside our brain inside our mind we can 100% immediately create a new identity and to start imagining it but then in real life expression is coming slowly and gradually so this lagging is like this the i amness is always fully expressed and when you tap there you can feel your potential you can feel 100 percent everything but then the experience of immediate change of identity is only happening inside when you are close to the amness and then you have the immediate realization and visualization and the grasp of what is and then the journey begins and actually you need to start enjoying now expressing what you have grasped into the reality when i was 137 kilogram person and i made the identification with a 90 kilogram body person that is long term going to express this body into the reality actually i became joyful with what is going to be long term revealed into reality for me so then in order to create less lagging and less suffering you need to constantly broadcast from the i amness you are your future self you are the identity that you want to express in the future you already are now you already are everything that you seek everything that you seek to find everything that you are asking as questions 
you already know all the answers. You only need to tap into the source to be in alignment and to accept them. So always broadcast from only then you are actually the future self now and only then you are generating the inside outflow of influencing reality. Authentic state always makes reality shifts. If you're trying to broadcast to, then you are declaring to reality what you want, but you don't want to tap into your authenticity. So this is part of the bending reality when you are broadcasting to then this is part of the unauthenticity because you want the results now and change if and only when you see the condition there that's why the universe the reality the construct the creator is only supporting authenticity If a shift is not started into your daily reality with a gradual revealing, it means that you take this observation and say, well, there was something unauthentic about me in this flow. Let me find it out. Start observing. Be honest. Don't go into delusions. And when you see something start to really move in reality, you become joyful. Wow! I'm creating an authentic expression that is making all to shift. And it is normal because you've tapped in the source, you've tapped into the connectness, you've tapped into the oneness, and you go into the limitations of reality and in the duality. And what you see there, you see things starting to move and to shift to who the new expression of the highness that you are is actually becoming to be revealed in reality. So thank you for deep diving with me into a small part of your authenticity is and that you are able now to distinguish between the highness and all the possible expressions of the am that you can experience in your own daily reality of limitation. I hope that now you are able to enjoy more life, to have more fun, to be more entertainment, entertained, to be willing to more really be aligned and enjoy reality, enjoy life, enjoy living. Thank you for watching and bye-bye.